Hey guys, it's Liz. So right now, it is 6.58 at night. Um, and right now, as you probably hear, I'm trying to walk uh, to the neighbor's house. I just woke up. Um, today has been very eventful. Um, and um, I'll actually explain why later um yeah I'll explain why later and explain everything that's happened um last night after I ended the vlog holidays holidays are we ready to go to the bathroom are we ready to go to the bathroom Hi! Come on! We're gonna go potty! Come on! No, we're not doing this again, Cameron! Alright, so right now it is 9... Uh, 9.54 at night. Um, and I told you guys that there was like a story of what happened uh, earlier this morning. I didn't go to work last night like I had planned. Oh, hold on, give me a second, I gotta close the door. Um, yeah, like I... Sorry, there's someone walking in here. Like I said, I didn't go to work like planned. Um, uh, when I was on my way to work, I got a call from my girlfriend, KP. You guys know her as KP. Um, she called me and told me she was in labor. Um, so yes, she's pregnant, well was pregnant. She had the baby this morning um, at 11.52 and she was 7 pounds, 13 ounces, perfectly healthy. Um, which is very good, um, after this I'll put a picture, after this clip I'll put a picture, but, but yeah, she's, uh, she had a baby, perfectly healthy, uh, Isabella Joy is her name, Isabella is her first name, um, Joy is her middle name, of course, um, but, yeah, it was a crazy night, um, we weren't expecting later. Oh. oh, excuse me, we weren't expecting the labor to take so long. Uh, we were expecting the baby in the early morning because of how fast she had progressed. But, um, it, it didn't go that way. Um, it actually took a little longer, um, than expected. Um, and it took a little longer than expected, um. So yeah, but um, she's a beautiful, healthy baby girl. Uh, KP's doing really good. Uh, she's perfectly fine. Uh, she's very tired because of the con with, uh, the contractions. It was hard to sleep, uh, uh, even with the um, even with the epidural. It was still a little hard. So, but she's doing very great, or she's doing very good, um, so, so yeah, but that was what happened last night, I couldn't call out of work, no one was answering the phone, so I had to go there, and tell my manager what was going on, oh, well, I, I said, well, my wife is in labor, um, but, um, but yeah, I, I left and was able to get there, um, but yeah, uh, but she's doing good, she's sleeping now, she's finally, she's, right about now she's happy that she can drink water, um, she says even with the ice chips, she was, 
extremely thirsty. Um, but, um, the nurse says, like, that's why we don't let you eat or drink anything, really. Um, because, like, if you eat and drink while you're in labor, like, you've got the chance of throwing it up during labor. Or, yeah, you have a chance of throwing it up later on in the labor process. So, um, so yeah, it, it was crazy, um, I was exhausted, and with the dogs, I just, I couldn't stay any longer, um, I had pushed it off for so long, my parent, my mom was gonna do it, I didn't see the text, but she said she was willing to do it earlier in the morning, but I didn't see the text, uh, we were texting back and forth, and I must have, um, missed over the text, um, but when I was on my way home around 9, she had texted me, you know, you know, my sister will do it, or your sister will do it, she was, her words to me was, your sister will do it, what does she have to do, where's the key, um, but I was already almost home, I was like five minutes away from the house, so it was like I couldn't just turn back now, because I was already 20 minutes away from the hospital, um, and I was, I, I was exhausted, um, I didn't sleep much yesterday, well, I did sleep much, I slept like seven hours, but by the time it hit about, I'm used to up and walking around during the night, I'm used to walking back and forth throughout the whole entire store when I'm working. So, that's why, like, the seven hours was perfect, because I would have been up and walking around. But, uh, when I got the call, I was like, shh, seven hours, hopefully this is gonna be quick, but... Um, but yeah, by the time it hit, like, 6 o'clock in the morning, the energy that I had left was gone. It was gone. By the time it hit 8 o'clock, I didn't know how much longer I could stay up. It was killing me. Um, I felt like her dad felt her dad just could not stay up anymore. Her dad had no energy to stay there. It was just me and her mom. And then especially since he had to take her brother home. Um, her brother is autistic. He's been up since like 5 o'clock the morning before. Or, no, yeah, 5 o'clock. He's been up since 5 o'clock Sunday morning. Because she didn't get to, to the hospital until 7, 7 something or 8 something um, Sunday night. And she had baby this, this morning, Monday morning. So yeah, it was, it was, it was rough, but the baby's healthy, um, she's perfectly healthy, uh, seven point, seven pounds, thirteen ounces, um, so yeah, uh, they're both doing great, like I said, but, um, to know that I don't have to bear that, um, that secret anymore feels a little bit better, so. So yeah. So right now it is eleven oh nine at night. I do not have work tonight. Um thankfully I didn't know that. Um I thought I had work tonight. I forgot that I looked up my schedule. And I thought I had work tonight. I thought I was scheduled to work tonight. Um, but no. Um, I am scheduled to work Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then Friday night into Saturday. And it's, I don't know. Like after that. I only worked the three days. Oh, technically I worked three days. I didn't work last night. Um, but I work now two days. Um, because it's, you know, Thanksgiving week. It's a very stressful week. Um, but, 
as you guys saw, those were pictures of um, Isabel, Isabella, shall I say, um, Isabella. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, she was born November 21st at 11.52 a.m. So yeah, um, and yeah, we still need to get a lot of stuff for for her. Um, we don't have much stuff for her, like anything for her. Um, so um, yeah, we we are. Well, I, I shouldn't say that because we're. Getting a crib for her. Um, one of their friends is giving them a crib and some clothes. Um, and um, that's about it. Um, so they're gonna get. They're gonna get, um, they still need to get the car seat, so, so yeah, um, that's about it, uh, other than that, I'm really not doing anything, um, yeah, I'm really not doing anything, so, so I'm probably gonna end it here, guys. Um, thank you guys for for watching and yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.